The Yemen chameleon is nowadays a very popular pet in captivity. The question is, do we keep them proper way? Do we make sure that they really thrive in the captivity and do we not do something that make them unhappy? Let us look today at the problematics of their nutritional state from skinny to obese. Yemen chameleons are home in Yemen, in the southern part of Arabian Peninsula, in a historical country called Arabia Felix by Herodotus, in a kingdom of the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon, a land of very proud nation and fantastic architecture. Here, the Yemen chameleons inhabit high mountain valleys called wadis, which are green and full of tropical vegetation, and then thrive here on acacia trees and on zisifa trees. Only here, in their home country, we can get an idea how they should look like, specifically in the rainy season where food and water is widely abundant. There are basically four nutritional state categories, skinny, athletic, well-fed and obese. The skinny one is a category typical by suboptimal weight. Athletic means optimal weight. For a Yemen chameleon male about 40 centimeters total length, it is approximately 120 gram, not less and not more. Then we have a well-fed category, which is over the optimal weight, up to 150% of the optimal weight. And then we have the state of obesity from 150% of optimal weight up, while heavy obesity above 200% is also something that we see quite often in captivity. Now, we need to accept one thing. Happy chameleon is an athletic chameleon, not an obese one. How you can assess the nutritional state of a chameleon? There are several assessment factors that you need to take into consideration. What is the total constitution? Does the chameleon look heavy bodied like or is it thin? What about the belly? Is it empty or is it full? What about skin texture? Is it firm, relaxed or does it have wrinkles? What about the cask and cheek sides? Are they flat or are they bulged? What about extremities? Are they thin or are they thick? Uh, muscles or bones are visible or are they hidden? What about fingers? Are they in parallel and thin or are they fat and divergent? What about tail base? Are the muscles or bones visible or does it look solid? Area along the spine is also indicative. Is it with or without a swelling? And look at the bite and cask interactions too. When biting, muscles actions can be visible or whole area can bulge outside. Some of the factors can be quite misleading and you need lots of experience to be able to assess it properly. Like the body form, is it inflated or maybe the female might be gravid? What about the belly content? Is it grilly gut or is it a fat body or are they eggs? What about the rib visibility? Because uh, there is low fat content under the skin, even well fat chameleons can have ribs visible. What about age? The elasticity of skin deteriorates with age, so muscles and bones become more visible with age. So now let us see how a skinny chameleon looks like. And now, let us see some beautiful athletic ones.
In captivity, it is quite okay if the chemins are a little bit above the optimal weight. So let us see how the well-fed captive chameleons look like. Unfortunately, many chameleons in captivity are obese. It is not a nice view. These animals are really suffering whole life. They are ill, they cannot move properly, they do not reproduce. It is unethical to treat captive chameleons like that. For you now who don't like graphic content, please close your eyes. Chameleons, if they are overfed, develop a huge fat body in their body cavity that blocks the work of many organs. The liver usually degrades by fat and loses the functionality. These overfed obese chameleons live a miserable life after which they die a painful death due to the failure of internal organs. If you find out that your chameleon is overfed and fat, there is still hope. You need to put him on diet. The reduction diet consists of four logical steps. Reduce, support, measure, share. If you are serious about fighting the obesity, please make use of some of the following tricks. First, reduce. Reduce the amount of food. It means cut the number of feeders to half and feed less. Or reduce the size of the food. It means feed the same amount of feeders but use smaller feeders. Or change the food. Simply skip feeding huge locusts and replace them with small crickets and roaches. And implement fasting periods. It means plan one week in a month where no food is given to the chameleon. And you can combine all the above. You need to support your chameleon in that heavy process. You need to hydrate and manage the water regimes. You need to watch your supplementation and use pollen. Provide correct temperature gradients and provide correct lighting, including UV. You need to measure your progress, weigh the chameleon regularly, keep a track record and adjust if necessary because you will see on the development of the weight whether your obesity treatment is efficient or not. And share. Remember, you are not alone. There are hundreds of people willing to help you and assist you in this hard process. So, provide evidence what you are doing, ask questions and consult with those that are competent. And always remember, happy chameleon is an athletic chameleon.